I lived on the street for 25 years. I was at one of the worst times in my life. When you're on the street, you're living from dumpster to dumpster. You're taking showers and fountains. If I had had to continue moving around, I probably would not have survived it. There's so many issues surrounding homelessness, but the bottom line is brokenness. In the winter of 1989, the city let us use the locker room of the Marian Anderson Rec Center as an overnight shelter. That first shelter came to a close, but in those few short months, the men came back night after night, formed community, and many made decisions for recovery. Over the next few years, we continued operating shelters and permanent housing in local facilities while searching for a place to call our own. Project Home was born. 1515 Fairmount was the perfect building for our first development, but the obstacles were daunting. For almost five years, we were blocked by community groups and political opposition. But in 1994, in a momentous victory, a federal court finally ruled in favor of Project Home. My life now is so beautiful because I have an icebox full of food, I have a walk-in closet with everything that I need to wear. I have a shower, a bath, everything is mine. But not only that, it's a place that I can call home. They say, look, you're important. You're worthwhile. You don't have to struggle. With street outreach, permanent housing, medical care, employment, and education, the number of people on the streets was dropping and the number of success stories was growing. We saw that we could empower hundreds of families so they wouldn't become the next generation of chronically homeless Philadelphians. The property manager hands you a key, just a simple key that so many of us don't think twice about, but it's the most profound moment. The symbol of this key represents a new beginning. The Honickman Learning Center and Comcast Technology Labs was a place where kids and adults knew they were valued. I am taking the Certified Peer Specialist training the center gives me the opportunity to move forward with my life. The impact is transformational, not just for people who are homeless, but for the whole city. Philadelphia was gaining a national reputation as the city that was turning the tide on homelessness. Empower took the mission to the next level. It brought together leaders from the private and public sectors to accelerate the development of housing. Empower makes it possible for Project Home to continue growing, leveraging $25 million into more than $250 million, providing housing and services to more than 15,000 people annually. The programs are great, and any kind of support you need, it's there for you. There's 1,000 men, women, and children who will put their heads on a pillow in their bed tonight because of Project Home. We've witnessed what's possible. Lives can be transformed. I am living proof of how people can change. But Project Home knows that there is more work to be done. And we can't stop until everyone has a place to call home because none of us are home until all of us are home. None of us are home until all of us are home. None of us are home until all of us are home. None of us are home until...